Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about one important concept of security which is known as access control list. So access control list is what? Access control list are the set of commands which are which are used for denying any information, permit any information and it want to filter some information from your network to this network to this network like access list has two parts like standard acl and extended acl but most of the time we are using extended acl because in extended acl we can use source as well as destination at single time but within standard acl i can use only source address like in standard acl what i can use like for example i want to block my 10 network this is already uh, uh, made topologies 10 20 30 and 40 and 50 network and already they are pinging with each other you can check through this simulator command they are pinging like you want to block your 10 network so in standard access control list you have to implement access list command only on this interface so 10 network will be blocked with everyone like you are not able to block 10 whole network with specific 20001 or 20002 or specifically 5000 but in extended access control list you can completely specifically block 10's whole network with one specific host you can block it with specific network you can block specific host of your network with any other network so this is all about access list so standard access list used 1 to 99 number and extended access control list used 100 to 199 so let's have one configuration about access list now i'm going to give you example of standard access list first so i'm taking an example like you want to block your 10 network with everyone okay so what i have to do i have to go for the router so if i want to block 10 sorry then what i have to use i have to use command access list one deny 10 network and it's wildcard mask and also i have to use access list one permit any like 10 network will be blocked but another network will not be blocked and after that i can put interface information here and ip access group one inside like if you are blocking on your router one your 10 network then this is inside but if you are blocking like any outsider network 20 30 or 50 on your router then it is outside so after implementing this you can check show access list now your network 10 is not able to ping with outside because the packet is blocked you can go with simulation process like this your packet is blocked there it came back okay like if i will remove the access list from here like for example i will use no access list one and also interface f0 by 0 no ip access group one in then your packet can go outside like this and it is pinging so if you want to block the network then you can use this command like whole network if you want to block only one PC, then what you can use, like for, for example, you want to block, uh, sorry, you want to block only 10001 with everyone. So you have to use access list one, deny host 10001 only. Rest other commands that you have used here access list one permit any interface f0 by 0 they remains the same access list one permit any and interface f0 by 0 ip access group one in 
Now your 10, 0, 0, 1 is blocked with everyone. Okay. But your 10, 0, 0, 2 can ping outside. So you can block specific host with this command. Okay. So if you want to again remove access list, no IP access group and no access list 1. But there is one problem in standard access list that you are not able to complete block your host with host or your network with specific network. So that's why I have to use in this extended ACL. Like for example, I'm taking uh, one example in which uh, I want to block 10 whole network of 10 with specifically 20.0.0.1 and 30.0.0.1. Rest other network should be permitted. Only 10 0 network, 0, 0, 0 network should not ping with 20.0.0.1 and 30.0.0.1 like these pieces. So this is called network to host blocking. So what I have to do, I have to use extended access list. Access list 100 deny IP now network. 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 7 should be blocked with. Now in extended access list, I can use destination also. Host 20, 0, 0, 1. So I have done with one deny command. In another command, deny command, I have to put 30, 0, 0, 1 also. Like 10, 0, 0, 0 should be blocked with this host. 10, 0, 0, 0 block should be with this host. Access list 100. Permit IP any any. Any any for two time is one is for source and one is for destination. 100 in. Now what will be the effect of this extended access list? Now 10 0, 0 network is blocked with 21, 30 0, 0, 1, but rest other PCs can ping with that network successful okay it is blocked with 20001 but it is pinging with 20002 it is blocked with 30001 okay it is ping with 30002 if you don't want to check like graphical view you can go for this like if you will ping with 20001 they will tell you destination host unreachable but if you will ping with 2002, they will ping. <coughs> so this is the benefit of extended access list. Now we will take one more example. First I will do know the command. No access list 100. <coughs> Sorry for that. Now for example, you want to block your 10.0.0.1 with 20.0.0.1. And 10 0, 0, 2 with 10 0, 0, 2 with 20 0, 0, 2. Multiple blocking like. So what you can do? Access list 100 deny. IP host your 10 0, 0, 1 should be blocked with 20 0, 0, 1. And your 10 0, 0, 2 should be blocked with 20 0, 0, 2. Now after that, the same command success list 100 permit IP any any and interface FA 0 by 0 IP access group 100 inside. Now your 10.0.0.1 is blocked with 20.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2 blocked with 20.0.0.2 but 10.0.0.1 pinging with 20.0.0.2 and 20.0.0.1 ping with 10.0.0.1. 10 0, 0, 2, sorry. So you can go for specific blocking in extended access control list. Okay. Thank you so much.